the colleagues and guests, please allow me to consider open the meeting of the Dissertation Council for the defense of Anisimov for the candidate degree of the candidate of uh, political sciences on speciality 230006 conflictology moral and political factors of social tension consider open and please dear colleagues switch off your mobile phones uh, according to the order of St. Petersburg State University from the 1st of February 2019, me, Alenikov Andrei Viktorovich, Doctor of Philosophy, Professor of the Department of Conflictology of St. Petersburg State University, was appointed the chairman of this dissertation council. And also allow me to introduce my fellow board members, Vladimir Milevsky, Professor of the Department of Sociology of the Political and Social Processes of St. Petersburg State University, Alexander Stripkov, Doctor of Political Sciences, Head of the Department of Complaintology. In the remote mode, we have got Bolshikov Andrei Georg Georgievich, Head of the Department of um, Conflictology, Kazan Volga University, and our colleague from Kazakh University. And first, I would like to emphasize that according to the federal law on science and the state scientific technical policy, St. Petersburg State University has the right to independently award academic degrees. The corresponding order on the procedure for awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University on the basis of which we conduct our meeting of the council was issued on the 1st of September 2016. In accordance with this order, the meeting of the Dissertation Council is considered eligible as at least two-thirds of the approved membership of the Dissertation Council takes part in its work, but not less than four persons. There are five members of the Council. All of them are present, in, including those two who are in the remote interactive mode. Audiovisual contact is provided, and we have got quorum. The procedure of today's meeting of the dissertation board with a total duration of more, no more than two hours is the following. The first, the chairman's summary report on the main content of the documents submitted by the candidates and their compliance with the established requirements, answers to possible questions up to five minutes. Brief report of the candidate for the degree reflecting the main points of the research up to 15 minutes. Third, Questions to the candidate strictly according to his report, no more than two minutes for one question, responses of the candidate. The speeches of all the members of the thesis council by turns with reviews, with a statement of their positions, with questions and suggestions to the candidate. No more than 10 minutes for the speaker. Five, the speech of the chairman with his review. Six, the answers of the candidate for the degree to the questions and remarks of the members of the dissertation council, no more than 15 minutes. Seven open discussion speeches at the request of those present at the defense of the thesis of persons with a brief presentation of their positions and with specific questions and proposal to the candidates strictly on the topic of the research. Final answers of the applicant to the questions asked the speech of the scientific supervisor no more than three minutes, a five minute break before an open vote in order to make a conclusion on the issue of awarding or not awarding the academic degree of St. Petersburg State University to the candidate. For the time of the discussion of the defense results by the members of the thesis council, the broadcast is turned off. An open individual voting, counting of votes by the chairman of the dissertation council with entering the results and the minutes of the meeting. Decision on awarding or not awarding the academic degree of St. Petersburg State University. The final words of the applicant, no more than two minutes. Are there any questions according to our agenda? No questions, thank you very much. Um, I also inform you that an audio and video recording of our meeting is being conducted as well as a live broadcast on the website of St. Petersburg State University. Simultaneous interpretation of speeches is also provided. Let me start the procedure of the meeting and the chairman's summary report. The dissertation of uh, Anisimov Dmitry Igorovich for the candidate degree of the uh, political sciences on the topic moral and political factors of social tensions was accepted for the de defense by the scientific secretary from the 10th of January 
2019, and uh, this uh, Institutional Council was uh, approved by the Scientific Sec Secretary, and I also pre presented uh, the members of this board to you, dear colleagues and guests. Uh, the candidate submitted the following documents, an application form addressed to the rector, uh, Professor Kropachev, uh, review of scientific supervisor, Mr. Artyoma, a list of publications containing three works which outline the main scientific results of the thesis, including three articles published in peer-reviewed scientific publications from the list approved by the Ministry of Education and Science of the Russian Federation, the certificate of candidate examinations uh, from the 15th of August uh, 2018, certifying that Anisimov successfully passed history and philosophy of science excellent, the English language uh, good, conflictology excellent. Postgraduate diploma issued on the uh, 14th of uh, July 2018 at St. Petersburg State University and certifying that Anisimov uh, mastered uh, teacher training program and he received the qualification as a research teacher. The thesis is done in Russian and English, both in paper-based version as in a manuscript and in the electronic form. The thesis is designed in accordance with the requirements of national state standards. It should be noted that all listed documents comply with paragraph 12 of section 3, presentation and defense of dissertations, procedure for awarding academic degrees in St. Petersburg State University. Are there any questions concerning the documents which were submitted? No questions. Uh, now, the next point of our agenda, brief report of the candidate. Dmitry Igorevich, please take the floor, 15 minutes. Good afternoon, distinguished chairman, distinguished members of the Dissertational Council, dear colleagues and guests. Uh, the topic of my thesis is moral and political factors of social tension. My work is devoted to an the analysis of the impact of moral and political trust on social tensions. Social tensions is viewed in it as a dissatisfaction with the state of sphere of social life and the state of relations between people. It is accompanied by the spread of negative social attitudes and the accumulation of negative social attitudes. Social tension is inextricably linked with social conflict. It is the most important indicator of social conflict accessible to empirical study since it precedes and accompanies it at all stages. Studying the causes of social ten tension, its accumulation, escalation, and can contribute to the prevention and resolution of destructive social conflicts. The object of the research is social tension. The subject of the research is the moral and political factors that determine the level and dynamics of social tensions. The purpose of the dissertation research is to identify the specifics of the interrelated influence of moral and political factors of, on social tensions. To achieve this goal, uh, in the dissertation research, the following tasks are solved. Summa the experience of theoretical and empirical studies of social tensions is summarized. Systematic scientific approaches to the study of moral and political factors of social tension. Uh, the author's understanding of social tensions was developed. The main indicators of social tensions used in the study of social tensions have been identified. The features of the mutual influence of moral and political factors on social tensions are revealed. The specificity of the influence of moral and political factors on the level of social tension in various types of modern societies has been determined. Among the many factors affecting the values of indicators of social tension, the dissertation work highlights moral and political. The moral factors of social tension include the nature of the attitude to major the majority of people, political factors, the nature of the attitude of to state and civil institutions. The empirical base of the study is the materials of mass national surveys of the population conducted in the framework of the European social research. 
The dissertation paper presents the results of studying the impact of moral and political factors on various parameters of social tension uh, obtained by the author on the basis of a statistical analysis of free access databases of the European social research during 2006 to 2016. The main provisions for the defense are the following. Social tension as a dissatisfaction with the state of the spheres of public life and the state of relations between people. Dissatisfaction with the state of the spheres is manifested in the prevalence of negative assessments of the functioning of the economic, social, and political subsistence, as well as in the prevalence of negative assessments of the influence of immigrants on various aspects of life of host countries. Along with income and sufficiency and social inequality, the main causes of social tension are mistrust in most people and mistrust in political institutions. The level of social tension in a particular country depends on the proportion of citizens who trust the majority of people, as well as the state and civil institutions. The level of social tension is lower in those countries in which citizens who trust in the majority of people and political institutions prevail over untrusted ones. The lowest level, levels of social tensions are observed in countries that have achieved the greatest success in the field of modernization of all spheres of public life. The thesis consists of an introduction, three chapters, conclusion, list of references, as well as an appendix in which the program and the results of an independent study of moral and political factors of social tension conducted by the author are given separately. The main part of the work is divided into three chapters. In the first chapter, we consider foreign and domestic experience in the study of social tensions, as well as modern approaches to each study are revealed. In accordance with the proposed definition of social tension in the materials of the European social research, the following indicators of social tension were selected. A negative assessment of the state of the economy, the health system, and the workings of democracy in the country, a negative assessment of the impact of, on the economy, culture of the country, and the quality of life in the country of immigrants who differ in nationality from the majority of the population of the country. Uh, the second chapter describes the imp impact of moral and political factors of social tensions. The third chapter is devoted to the analysis of the relationship of the moral and political factors of social tensions. It discusses the peculiarities of in the influence of moral and political factors on social tensions in modernized and modernizing countries, as well as the dynamics of social tensions in these countries in the period from 2006 to 2016. In conclusion, the main results of the study are given. At the heart of the social tension are various factors, among which moral and political roles play an, uh, factors, uh, play an important role. Uh, the predominance of distrust over trust in interpersonal relations is one of the moral factors of social tension. The prevalence of distrust over trust in state and civil institutions of the political uh, is one of the political factors of social tensions. Uh, typically, those who trust most people tend to trust more uh, political institutions. It should be noted that this certain attitude of an individual towards the majority of people develops before the formation of definite attitudes towards political institutions. As a result of the analysis, it was established that the higher uh, the level of distrust in most people and political institutions, the higher the values of indicators of social tensions. In addition, it was found that distrust of political institutions to a relatively great extent causes a negative assessment of the state of the economic, social, and political spheres of life. And distrust of most people to a relatively greater degree causes a negative assessment of the impact of immigrants of the economy, culture, and quality of life. A comparative analysis of data characterizing various countries uh, re uh, revealed that the majority of people and political institutions are accompanied by low values of social tensions. Social tensions depend on the level of modernization of the country. In the most modernized countries, the proportion of 
people trusting the majority uh, of political institutions prevails over the proportion of those who do not trust. And this contributes to a decrease in the values of the main indicators of social tensions. In the modernizing countries, the opposite is true. The analysis of the dynamics of social tensions in various countries suggests that increasing level of moral and political trust, as well as reducing social tensions, occurs as a complex modernization of all aspects of life and the quality of life of the majority of the population. By systematically measuring the values of indicators and, and factors of social tensions, it is possible to prevent and regulate social conflicts in a timely manner. Thank you very much. Dmitry Igorich, thank you very much. Dear members of the board, your questions. Uh, distinguished Dmitry Igorovich, please spe specify the term factors. How can you explain this factor? It is a very diverse uh, and multifaceted factor. In my thesis, this factor is defined as a reason. Thank you very much. Any other questions? Tripkov, Alexander Ivanovich, Dmitry Igorovich, the following question. On page 40 of your thesis, uh, you say that, uh, and page 28, you say that in the analysis of social tension, a great role is attributed to empirical research in order to study the emotional state of the society. How do you understand this emotional state of the society and individual? Thank you very much for the question. And uh, the definition of social tension, it is this state of dissatisfaction uh, by the spheres of the social life all the definitions which are given in my work, they have a specifying character, but the main definition in the provisions for the defense uh, is that social tension is emotional state of mass cognition. And uh, what do you understand by the emotional state of the individual and the society? the state uh, which is connected with the sphere of emotions of individuals. Thank you very much. And my question. I have got two questions. Uh, Dmitry Igorovich, on page 40, if I'm not mistaken, of your thesis, you study the method of automated system of measuring of the level of social tension. It's a very interesting method. And in uh, former Soviet countries, this method is actively used. And what are the perspectives of this approach, of this method? Uh, we speak about the measurement of social tensions via big data in social networks. What are the perspectives of this approach in the definition of the level of social tension? Please answer this question. Thank you very much for the question. Uh, I uh, consider uh, different approaches and indicators and the influence and the attempts, empirical attempts to study social tension uh, it's very necessary to study empirically social tensions. Uh, the group of British uh, scholars, with the help of the analysis of social networks, tried uh, to measure the level of social tension. Uh, and the prospects are very successful because empirical measurement of the level of social tension with the help of such methods uh, can be prevented and uh, they can uh, regulate social conflicts and there is a set of tools, social 
uh, opinion polls, statistical analysis, in case of your example, the analysis of social networks. This direction is very prospective, as well as uh, big data. Thank you very much. And the second question. As for the main provisions, the high level of social tension is in successful countries. For example, you take 20, the year of 2016, and as we take protests in developed countries, European countries, let's take the latest uh, situations in France. How can you comment upon this issue or protests in this developed country? Are they the examples of uh, the social tension? France and other countries are not considered in this work. Norway, uh, Sweden, and Denmark, and of course, uh, any society and has social tensions and conflicts. So you know that only in this cemetery we may witness the society without conflicts. And uh, every society have protests, social tensions. It is a usual course of life. And in uh, the most successful uh, countries and modernized countries, of course, it's not deprived of social conflict. And if we take the uh, society in general, any other questions? Uh, Dmitry Igorevich, my question. If I'm not mistaken, in the first task, in your thesis, you speak that you are going to analyze, analyze the specificity of moral and political factors in different types of society. And uh, what do you mean by the types of the society and which typology do you use in your dissertation, Andrei Viktorovich? Thank you very much for your question. Such good question. Typology is the following. If we are talking about modernized and modernizing societies, the typology is the following. Uh, it is uh, the typology of Lapins Nikolai Ivanovich. And I am I'm based on this typology and analyze. Everything taking into account Lapins typology because uh, it is the most suitable for the empirical basis, for empirical framework of my research. It is applicable to this empirical framework, and that's why I use this typology. If we are talking about modernized and modernizing countries, without taking countries with the different regimes. Any other questions? No questions. Thank you very much, Dmitry Igorevich. Let's move to the uh, reviews of the members of the dissertation boards. Mr. Anisimov, please take your seat. Dear colleagues, I would like to inform that all the reviews were placed at the website of St. Petersburg State uh, university and they are in the open access and uh, please focus only on the main problems sufficient problems in your reviews and i would like to give the floor to Miletsky vladimir petrovich then will be bolshikov uh, thank you very much uh, distinguished uh, chairman andrey viktorovich Dear colleagues, members of the Dissertation Council, dear candidates, Mr. 
Anissima and uh, the uh, study of your dissertation pleased me a lot concerning mostly the typology which was chosen of, of our candidate the typology of social systems it's an original uh, has a novelty unlike traditional classification of uh, social system formational classification or civilizational classification of social systems and so on this classification is more relevant to the tasks of the research and gives uh, better results and uh, speaking about the text of my review I want to say that the act actuality of these problematics is obvious both for world community and for Russia and for conflictology in particular as a young boosting uh, science and in this respect I want to say that the author uh, managed to uh, uncover and explain the influence moral and political factors on social tension and not as the reasons but also as more broad social determinants and even the quality of multipliers of various social tensions and that's why I'm sure that the author managed to raise the aim and tasks of the research and thus uh, he managed to show the logics of the research on the whole the thesis of Dmitry Igorovich Anisimov is a completed and separate independent research and original research actual one uh, in terms of the problematics of modern conflictology and uh, here we may speak about the sociology of conflicts so these are two interrelated part, parts the author managed to solve the problems and uh, explain the topic and he chose adequate methodological framework for the research first of all systematic methodological approach he used and some eleme elements of historical analysis were used apart from that the author managed to formulate uh, persuading provisions which reflect his own position and this position without doubt uh, has the elements of scientific novelty and the attempt of the author to use diverse materials of European social research are used they concern the specificity of the influence of the factors of social and moral tension and the materials connected with the influence of migrants on social and economic tension in European countries especially such as France for example or Italy uh, which have more social tension and the conclusion about people who distrust uh, the citizens and social institutes there is also negative evaluation of the lifestyle life conditions and it stipulates uh, social tension apart from that i want to highlight that on the basis of the analysis of widespread empirical materials the candidate managed to formulate the conclusions that m modernization of the society and 
its main subsystems, economics, social or legal subsystems. They seriously affect the level of social tension in pre-modernized countries where the level of the developments of social economic basis and politics, they are very low. Social tension is also very high. And in this respect, I want to highlight that the thesis uh, stipulates the conclusion that in the countries with uh, great results in systematic modernization of the whole society and not separate spheres of the society, the level of social tension is lower and the stability is uh, al always dominates always dominates over disorganizational elements unstable elements which we may see on pages 85 and 105 also i want to highlight that the materials of the research uh, received by the author have a scientific and practical meaning and they can be used in the practice of preventive uh, of preventing conflicts and social tensions including Russia in particular in uh, conflict regions for example the Caucasus or other regions as for some drawbacks I would like to draw your attention that the formulation of the aims requires some specification because any research has the aim not only to conduct the analysis of the actual problems but also uncover and found out something new which will uh, provide the accumulation of politological knowledge on the issue but i want to advise you to use more relevant characteristics when you formulate your tasks as and apart from that I want you to specify which particular society you consider European, global, or Russian society. The second remark or question is the author uh, did not clearly un explain the social, the term social tension it seems to me that you should have uh, study this term deeper and the term modernization itself uh, is defined incompletely and in this respect i want to say that you don't use all the materials on the problematics of the modernization. I don't mean my own mon uh, uh, monograph uh, uh, work on political tensions in Russia. There are more serious works which exist and the author neglected these works and I hope that in future these publications will be used by you in your further research and also there are some uh, grammatical uh, grammar and stylistic um, mistakes the content of the research conforms with the topic of the author the work uh, is logical the results are true the uh, conclusions are uh, clearly formulated. It has author's novelty 
and without doubt it makes the contribution into the accumulation of new knowledge on these problematics and it concerns, uh, concerns moral and political factors and social tension in modern society in the conclusion is the following the thesis moral and political factors of social tensions prepared by Dmitry Igorovich Anisimov conforms with the requirements uh, by the order number 6821-1 from the 1st of September 2016. And its author deserves the degree of the candidate of political sciences on speciali specialization 230006, conflictology, political sciences. Sciences. Point ele 11 of the order on awarding the degrees uh, was not violated by the candidate. And thank you very much for your attention. Vladimir Petrovich, thank you very much. Dmitry Igorovich, as for the answers to the remark, Would you like to answer the remarks separately? Your answer to the review of Vladimir Petrovich, distinguished Vladimir Petrovich, thank you very much for the detailed analysis of my work and your remarks. In the review of the Doctor of Political Sciences of Vladimir Petrovich, Miletsky. Uh, uh, it he highlights that uh, he does not understand which society in considered, uh, which uh, countries are considered. We are talking about Russia and other European countries. In the main text of the introduction, it is noted that the empirical base of the thesis um, and is the materials of mass surveys of the population of various countries. The second comment concerns the ab ambiguity uh, of the position of the author. My uh, position concerning the specificity of social tension is based uh, on Russian and foreign uh, experience. The first chapter of my thesis uh, shows the, my connection uh, with the uh, scientific works. First of all, uh, those interpretations uh, that are contained in the works of Dmitrieva, Rukavishnikova, Kukankova, Baranova, Frolov, and many others. In my work, I do not give my own definition of the concept modernization. And when dividing countries into modernized and modernizing, I rely on the classification developed by Nikolai Ivanovich Lapin. Uh, the third remark indicates the presence of some grammatical and stylistic errors in the thesis. Uh, sorry for that. Thank you. And now I give the floor to Mr. Balshakov. Good afternoon again, uh, dear colleagues. Thank you very much for the opportunity given to me to have the floor uh, at the dissertation council at St. Petersburg State University. And uh, it's very pleasant that we speak about the problematics of conflictology and uh, social tension. It is the topic which is beyond sociology, but today uh, to understand the conflictological theory, which is uh, for most importance, it is uh, impossible uh, uh, to uh, imagine the theoretical basis of modern conflictological thought 
and uh, the author shows in uh, his research. And in this respect, it is uh, the research is very actual and very interesting. Uh, we may pay attention and highlight a theoretical experience of the author, a wide range of researchers are cited. Some uh, sections of this study are very interesting, and uh, the author uh, analyzes the classics, Parsons, Simmons, Mertens, and so on. I'm not going to list uh, all of them. He uses the uh, works of uh, Russian researchers, Rukavishnikov, Dmitriev, and others. The theory of social tension, the theory of conflict could not exist today if it were one of the most important for sociology conflictology and various spheres of scientific knowledge, it should be taken into account. And that's why the author highlights the indicated indicators of social tension, tension, and he describes them in detail. In the second chapter, the factors of moral and pol uh, political tensions are uh, considered uh, the data of uh, European social research uh, is illustrated and in the third chapter the author connects uh, the factors of political and social tension. In the basis of social tensions there are many factors among which moral and political factors play a crucial role. It is the subject of the thesis and the aim of uh, this study. And I agree with the previous review that uh, sometimes there are some uh, drawbacks. As for the moral factors of social tensions, it is distrust in the society and negative evaluation of uh, the society and uh, distru mistrust to social and political uh, institutions. And it is a very important moment. And uh, there is a lot to uh, research in this sphere by conflictologists. And one more thing, that according to the author's opinion, the results which uh, were obtained by the analysis of the data, uh, political and social factor, they are interrelated. Interpersonal trust defines the attitude between people and po political and national uh, trust defines the uh, state of the social life. Uh, the practical significance of the study is without doubt. It is based on the opportunity of the application of the results for the monitoring of the reasons for uh, social tensions in the society and uh, it will allow to uh, free the society from uh, social tensions. And it will uh, provide the society with the social accord, public accord. I want to highlight that the author uh, published five works, among of them uh, three articles were published in peer-reviewed journals. Our candidate took part in international scientific uh, conferences. And it is a very important f fact and the, the one of the necessary requirements for the defensing of uh, the thesis. And as for the drawbacks of the thesis, 
and uh, such works are not deprived of the drawbacks. I want to highlight the following drawbacks. The thesis is not very well structured. We may speak about the absence of some strict rules, but I was surprised by some things. I can't understand why all three paragraphs of the first chapter, they are different in the volume. For example, the third uh, paragraph includes seven pages. The thesis uh, has only 116 pages. It is too uh, little uh, if we take the requirements for the dissertations. And all those theoreticians who discuss the pro problem of social tensions uh, and 71 uh, pages can be attributed to the author's research. And it seems to me that the uh, author did not conduct a detailed analysis. Secondly, the dissertation uh, introduction provisions for the defense testing methodology, they are clearly defined, and citation uh, specific historical and systematic approaches were used and methods of the analysis of the factual data were used. And uh, this formulation is a uh, uh, usual thing for every a dissertational research. And uh, partly uh, the extent of the development of the topic is not very deep. And in the first uh, paragraph, <coughs> the author analyzes the evolution of the um, approaches towards social tensions. the aims and tasks in the introduction of the thesis come after the object and subject of the research. It is wrong. And the fact that uh, our candidate could not find the uh, studies concerning his topic. And it is very strange. Uh, there are a lot of English uh, works on this topic. And thirdly, I agree with the previous colleague who spoke that the aim <clears throat> could be uh, different, uh, not through the notion of analysis, because it uh, leads to a lot of questions. The analysis of the specificity of the in influence of moral and political factors on social uh, tension. And <clears throat> it is an arguable statement The aim was not formulated correctly, but in fact, uh, this aim, uh, the formula, uh, the aim itself, it is 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 possible, uh, but <coughs> uh, 
and uh, at the end I want to highlight that despite these drawbacks which I have already mentioned uh, it is my uh, personal opinion the thesis of Mr. Anismo solved the problem of the interaction of moral and political factors of social tensions on the basis of the uh, large-scale uh, research and the interaction between moral and political factors of uh, political tension are viewed and the thesis of Anisma of Dmitry Igorovich on the topic of moral and political factors of uh, social tensions conforms with the requirements stated by the order from the 1st of September 2016 on awarding scientific degrees at St. Petersburg State University and that our candidate deserves the degree of the candidate of political sciences on specialization. 230006 conflictology and that's all. Andrei Georgievich, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Anisim, Anisimov, your answer to Mr. Bolshekov. Andrei Georgievich, thank you very much for the detailed analysis of my work. Uh, in the review of Mr. Bolshekov, there are three remarks. And I agree with these remarks in the first remark that uh, my thesis is not very well structured. The use of tables and pictures in my text. I agree that my dissertation should be structured better. And I want to note that I wanted to explain the content of my thesis. Uh, also, I want to note that uh, the requirements of St. Petersburg St State University for candidate degrees, the uh, minimum volume of the text w is not stated. Uh, the main part of tables and graphs is in the application to the thesis as well as a program of the research the uh, framework of my re research statistical methods of analysis are shown in the application this uh, part in the uh, thesis in the <coughs> second uh, remark we speak about the extent of uh, the development of the problem. I partly agree with uh, these remarks of Andrei Georgievich, and I want to note that uh, it is uh, partly compensated by the material of other parts of the thesis. Regard, regarding the completeness of uh, taking into account the available scientific publications, I want to know that despite the fact that both domestic and foreign scientific literature published many works devoted to the analysis of various aspects of social tension, a separate work which would study the moral and political factors of this phenomena at the time of writing my dissertations, I was unable to find any in the bibliographic database of scientific publications of Russian scientists. And uh, the third comment concerns the use of word analysis in the formulation of the purpose of this study. I uh, want to know that in this fragment, the word analysis is given in the sense of revealing the specifics of the impact of moral and political factors of social tensions, identifying the nature of the relationship between moral and political factors of social tension contributes to the solution of this task. And I would like to give the floor to Nasimova uh, Gulnar Rimbaeva. Thank you very much, dear members of the dissertation council. The work of Anisimov Dmitry Igrevich is uh, 
very actual and this aspect of interaction of moral and political factors of social tension um, the system was introduced for the first time and we are trying to uh, consider uh, social tension and uh, protest in Kazakhstan and the work of our candidate for me and for you is very actual work and I raise the question about the group of uh, the researchers supervised by Williams um, they started to they uh, re studied big data which uh, we have in social networks the activity the development of uh, informational technology uh, technologies the activity of people in social networks has become higher the thesis of Anisimov shows the widespread uh, uh, detailed analysis of moral and political factors of social tension on the basis of the complex of works the author uh, offers his own explanation of the social tensions and uh, he explain, explains this as a dissatisfaction of people with the uh, level of life and our candidate offers the list of indicators which help uncover uh, the reasons for social and political factors of social tension of course we may expand this list and offer different indicators uh, because we can't uh, say that these are statistical education but it is the right of our author on the basis of comparative analysis of the data of European studies Anismov shows that the level of social tensions in this specific country depends on the proportion of citizens who trust political institutions and as for the analysis of empirical data our candidate says that most part of the people show the negative evaluation of the life conditions and uh, on the basis of uh, generalizing of comparative research our author shows that in modernized countries since 2006 to 2060 uh, the higher uh, level of moral and political trust and along with that the author highlights that in modernizing countries there were some positive changes in the level of social tension and the results of our candidates can be characterized uh, by the integrity and the conclusions uh, can be used by the uh, uh, local authorities and uh, not only in Russia but also abroad these results can be applied and nevertheless uh, despite the advantages of the thesis there are some drawbacks first of all the analysis of social tensions is limited only by the sphere of interactions of migrants and local population indigenous people and comparative analysis is limited only by European countries but these remarks does not uh, reduce the positive impression from the works it is a logical study uh, the work contains the detailed uh, uh, description of the methods and results of the research and uh, the statistical analysis of the author tables uh, graphs are very well explained the thesis of Anisiv of Dmitry Igorevich on the topic of moral and political factors of social tension conforms with the main requirements stated by the order from the 1st of September 2016 
about the awarding of degrees at St. Petersburg State University, and our candidate deserves the candidate degree uh, of political sciences on specialization 230006, conflictology, doctor of political sciences, Nasimova uh, Gulnar. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Gulnara Lenbaeva, thank you very much for the detailed analysis of my work and your remarks. In <coughs> uh, there are following remarks. The first point concerns the limitation of the analysis of social tensions as dissatisfaction with the state uh, uh, between people in the sphere of interaction between immigrants and the indigenous population of the host countries. I have already mentioned uh, in the responses to the previous remarks that my dissertation research has mainly applied uh, uh, to the study of social tensions, and I tried to single out those empirical characteristics that are used in systematic surveys of populations from different countries. And the European Social Survey um, is the most acceptable source of reliable empirical data placed in the mode of free access. In the country available databases of this study for the period from 2000 to 2016, negative assessment of the impact on the economy, culture, and quality of life of immigrants uh, differing by nationality from the majority of indigenous people in this country is the most significant indicator of social tension as dissatisfaction with relationships with other people. In the second uh, remark, <coughs> there is the restriction of comparative cross-country analysis by European countries. In order to study the specifics of the impact of moral and political factor, factors of social tensions, I chose European social research as a source of empirical data due to the availability of its data and also because the monitoring nature of this study allows us to consider not only the existing social indications but also identify trends of their changes. Uh, and so that's why I limited uh, to analyze myself to analyzing the experience of European countries. Dmitry Ingrich, thank you very much. And now I give the floor to Stripkov, Alexandra, Alexandra Ivanovich. As a conflictologist, I want to highlight the uh, peculiarities Uh, our candidate highlighted the following, that so, social tension is uh, closely connected with political situation in the country. And uh, the work shows deep empirical uh, research the peculiarities are shown in my review. They are explained in my review. And this uh, thesis can be characterized as a study which makes a huge step on the basis of the solid European uh, researches. It is a step forward in order to make conflictology develop dynamically. It is our third defense on conflictology, and it is a very successful one. And I highly appreciate this work and the material which is used Uh, European uh, research and the data from European uh, research 
the results of uh, its analysis can be beyond this uh, European research. And our author concludes uh, the conclusions uh, can be uh, added to the conflictology which is developing nowadays both in our country and abroad. And it is a, a dubious uh, concept on the one hand. It is closely connected with conflictology. This and And for me, it was a very interesting and new fact. And I recommend it to use the results uh, for the uh, research, both in theoretical and practical uh, respect. They can be used in the uh, governmental system, in public administration. At the same time, uh, there are some remarks in my review. As for the dissertational research, the author uh, defines social tension uh, differently, in the introduction, the author considers social tension as a, an emotional state of mass cognition, which is uh, manifested in different forms, from discontent uh, content to revolutions. On page 30, the author, author defines uh, uh, social tension as uh, they are influenced by the pressure of the nature and it says that to solve these problems this uh, uh, definition has a special significance and uh, social uh, tension it is discontent by the quality of life and it is uh, indicated by the author in the provisions for the defense and uh, page uh, 105 in the conclusion, the author says that social tensions is manifested in discontent uh, with the uh, spheres of social life. And then uh, the author refers to Kukankov uh, that social discontent, social tension, it is discontent with the current situation in the uh, country and the spread of negative. Uh, emotions among uh, population in the country and I want to know what is uh, social discontent social tension is it a discontent or negative moods in the society or what else uh, secondly in the first paragraph of the second chapter the moral factors of social tension these are moral settings including interpersonal distrust uh, the trust, it is the expectations of honesty, attention uh, towards uh, other people. And then the author says that this definition solves only uh, one uh, task of the study, the uh, figuring out the expectations of people. The main tasks of the research, they are defined by the author in the introduction. And we can't uh, 
find these tasks. And as for the hypothesis, the, which I introduced in the applied research, page 120, the influence of the level of modernization of the social tension. Thirdly, the author, when he, the author considers the social tension as a discontact with the social spheres of life. <coughs> he limits the horizons of the research, the state of economic and other spheres. They're stipulated by trust or distrust to other civil and political institutions. And uh, the difference between the, uh, those who trust or uh, who distrust can't be enough for social tension. Uh, fourthly, the repetitions of the same text on uh, different pages and, and uh, in one uh, part of the dissertation, Solovyov was uh, cited several times, uh, the same text the same idea of Solovyov was cited several times, page uh, 24 and 35. And the fifth, the uh, quotation by Balding, he, the author translated it from the English language, and we can't understand uh, the uh, translation, both in the human nature and in the nature of bourgeoisie revolution call the first English king and Ludovic the sixteenth French king they try, uh, trying to uh, preserve political power and uh, political force they uh, beheaded themselves how can we understand this fact thank you very much well it's at my conclusion uh, the thesis moral and political factors of social tensions conforms with the main requirements stated by the order on the procedure of avoiding degrees at St. Petersburg State University, and its author deserves the degree of the candidate of political sciences on speciality 230006, conflictology, politology. Thank you very much, Alexander Ivanovich. Thank you very much, Dmitry Yurovich. First of all, I would like to thank distinguished Alexander Ivanovich Strykov uh, for the detailed analysis of my work and remarks. Uh, uh, the first remark concerns the ambiguity of using different definitions of the concept of social tension in this thesis, analyzing various definitions of social tensions in the uh, study. In scientific literature, I try to highlight the diverse aspects of this concept and show their significance for substantiating its own understanding. Uh, it follows from this remark uh, that I was not able to fully implement this task. At the same time, I want to know that I consider dissatisfaction with the state of the spheres of life and the state of relations between people as the emotional state of mass consciousness manifested in negative social moods and attitudes. It's necessary to agree with this remark and that part uh, in the fragment of the thesis quoted by Alexander Ivanovich Stripkov. His connection with one of the tasks set in the introduction is not shown. Analysis of the interrelation of moral and political factors of social tension. In response to a remark about the application, I would like to know that the application uh, was considered as a source of initial data that was mentioned in the main text of the thesis. The third comment is that the restriction of the study of social tension factors by the analysis of the influence in the personal and institutional trust narrows the horizon of research issues. Without exaggerating the values of 
these types of trust, I wanted to show in my work that negative interpersonal and institutional attitudes influence uh, influence the negative assessment of the state of life spheres and the state of relations between people. Uh, the fourth remark refers to the repetitions that are available in the text of the thesis. I want to apologize for the shortcomings. The fifth remark concerns the author's translation of a fragment of the work of Baldi. Uh, this is a slight error in the translation of this passage from the work of Baldi. Although it does not affect the meaning of the interpretation of the meaning of this passage. The following translation is more correct. In these circumstances, the tension of the system increased, and those monarchs who tried to maintain their political despotic power, like Charles I in England and Louis XVI in France, were beheaded. Alexander Ivanovich, thank you very much for your remark. Dmitry Igorovich, thank you very much. And now let me announce my own review. Distinguished colleagues, your detailed analysis of uh, the dissertation give me opportunity not to focus on some particular uh, drawbacks because I agree with your remarks and the thesis is very actual and make a great contribution to the development of conflictology. As a science, the problematics is very clear how can we measure this social tension and if this social tension is wrongly measured and uh, we can't uh, properly evaluate uh, these risks and dangers in the society and it leads to wrong uh, political decision making process and I am sure that um, the thesis contributes a lot into the devel development of our science. And as for the drawback of this study, the first chapter uh, has an integ integral uh, drawback, as Professor Sripkov has mentioned. Dmitry Igorovich uh, lists a uh, lot of points of view on the uh, concept of social tension, but uh, scientific principle of sense systematization of these approaches uh, does not present in the study. I can't understand from the text of the thesis which advantages and disadvantages can be attributed to this or that point of view. What are the criteria for the selection of th uh, these approaches and uh, why uh, uh, did you choose uh, these approaches, these positions? And one article gives the uh, 50 definitions of this social uh, uncertainty. Professor Balshakov have already uh, mentioned the lack of uh, literary uh, review and uh, it would be better for you to analyze previous dissertations on this topic. And these uh, questions are very important. The correlation of the concepts of social um, tension, social tension, social deprivation, pre-conflict state, protests of potentials, and so on. And from this point of view, uh, the th this is, uh, does not contain specific uh, answers. And the key uh, concept for the dissertation, social tension, uh, it is, uh, to my mind, uh, unstructured. I uh, counted four uh, definitions of social tension, which you consider your own definitions. Alexander Ivanovich asked, what is the emotional state of mass uh, cognition? of uh, emotional state <coughs> what is mess is it a lot of people or some heterogeneous audience which contradicts homogeneous audience uh, uh, 
uh, discontact with a social situation it is the same as the uh, discontent with the social spheres of life. I want to say, uh, like Alexander Ivanovich, when I uh, got acquainted with the study, I noticed that in many works on social tension, uh, there is no adequate definition of the term social tension. And it uh, dry, uh, makes me think about uh, human potential. As for the second chapter of the thesis, Vladimir Miletsky And in fact, sociological uh, uh, reasons, determinants, conditions, and uh, circumstances, and multipliers, and so on, which option should be uh, chosen? And you did not answer this question to full extent. For example, negative attitude to, to social uh, environment. This is the reason for this social tension or discontent with the activity of uh, civil and governmental institutions. It is the uh, force or condition, for example, protest in the city of Yekaterinburg. What is it? Is it a reason, conditions, or driving force, or multiplier, or what? One more thing concerning the consideration of the author's approach concerning social tensions in uh, different political regimes. It's very uh, important approach and significant approach. The question about the specifics of the factors of social uh, tensions in the hi hybrid political regimes. For example, Russia, Russian specificity when our regimes uh, and you should have explained this fact. And page 61, you uh, declare that you consider those political factors of social tensions which can be studied on the basis of European uh, social research. Uh, one more concept which is necessary to explain. You use the concept work of democracy in the country. And how the work of the democracy in the country can be measured, which uh, democracy is simulated, imitated, or so on. And one more remark. It is connected with uh, chapter three. It is a general remark. To my mind, uh, the chapter is uh, too descriptive, and it requires conceptual improvement in order to understand complicated uh, connection between moral and politics. In my opinion, uh, some uh, points were dismi dismissed because it is too descripti descriptive. And some uh, private uh, remarks concerning the structure of work on page six you formulate five main tasks of the work. <laughs> to 
to hypothesis and uh, these uh, remarks and drawbacks does not reduce the overall positive impression from the work. Uh, the thesis of Anisimov Dmitry Igorevich on the topic moral and political factors of social tensions conform with the requirements of uh, St. Petersburg State University on procedure of avoiding degrees uh, of St. Petersburg State University. Distinguished uh, Andrei Viktorovich, in the review of the Doctor of Philosophy, there are uh, following remarks. The first remark concerns the lack in the first chapter of the thesis of the principle of systematization of the considered points of view as well as the analysis of a number of works intersecting with the thesis problematics. Indeed, some of the works devoted to the study of social tensions are not used in my dissertation. This is due mainly to the applied nature of my work. It, its focus on identifying, analyzing, and summarizing the materials of empirical research that characterize the manifestation of social tensions in various types of modern societies. Therefore, considering various approaches to the study of social tension, in the first chapter of my work, I tried not to systematize all existing points of view, but to use them to justify my own understanding of social tension to identify its indicators and factors affecting its occurrence, increase and decrease its level. The second point is about the incomplete realization in the dissertation of the operational interpretation of the concept of social tension. In my work, I did not try to consider the full range of conceptual problems associated with the analysis of the concept of social tension. In the process of operation operationalization of this concept, I was engaged in identifying those of its features that make it possible to reach the indicators of social tensions, use a systematically conducted mass polls of the population in Russia and other European countries. The third comment concerns the certain vagueness of the terminology used for the analysis in particular the concept of factor. I agree that it should clarify the meaning of this concept. In the dissertation, the factor is considered as the cause of social tensions that affects its level and dynamics. The fourth and fifth remarks speak of the need for a more thorough study of the concept of hybrid political regimes and the work of democracy in the country. The analysis of such concepts of these concepts was not part of my research, considering the materials of the European social research as an empirical basis of my work. I had to take into account the set of vari variables that I used in this study to, st <coughs> to investigate the state and trends of the social tensions in European countries. In these materials, there is no data describing the various political regimes in the sense in which they are considered in the normative political science. The wording the work of democracy in the country is used in the standard question, which allows to study the degree of satisfaction which are the functioning uh, with the functioning of the political system in the country. Then such empirical indicators of social tension as a negative assessment of the state of individual spheres of public life and negative assessment of the influence of immigrants on these areas used in the thesis correspond to my approach to understanding social tension as dissatisfaction with the state of spheres of social life and the state of relations between people. This understanding of social tensions in turn is based on the approaches outlined in the first two paragraphs paragraphs of the first chapter in which I tried to reflect the evolution of scientific views 
of the phenomenon of social tension. Nevertheless, I agree with the distinguished Andrei Viktorovich that the rationale for the selection of these indicators could be more meaningful and detailed in the third paragraph of the first chapter specifically devoted to these issues. I agree with these more private comments. Thank you very much. Dear colleagues, we have finished with the reviews of the members of the dissertation board. And now I would like to give the floor to the scientific Sufi supervisor, Professor Artemov, the doctor of political science. Distinguished members of the board and dear colleagues, I want to thank everyone for this detailed analysis of the work of my pupil. It was our first experience of the combination of theoretical and applied analysis of these uh, factors which define this phenomenon. And I want to say that all the tasks which were formulated by our candidate, he fulfilled them to full extent. He analyzed the history of the study of this phenomenon, the modern approaches. He tried to construct his own vision of social tension and uh, explain the selection of the factors which define the social tension in modern conditions. And then he tried to find in the empirical databases the characteristics. And I want to say that he uh, managed to find the materials of European social uh, study himself all the sites of life in the modern uh, European societies. Of course, uh, there is some limitation. The second one was that I gave the task to Dmitry Igorovich to uh, apply uh, statistical methods to data processing, which exist in sociology, first of all, and which we try to apply in analyzing social conflicts, including uh, the sphere of applied research, the tendencies of the development of moral uh, cognition and uh, behavior. The application of these uh, diverse methods uh, influenced limited the indicators, the selection of indicators. And moral and political characteristics. Uh, as for some characteristics, we did not find considerable dependencies between the factors and features and the indicator for social tension. That's why we did not use them in the analysis. On the whole, uh, Dmitry Igorovich managed to fulfill the task and solve the problem. And it seems to me that he did a great job, and he combined theoretical and applied analysis, and he uh, applied various analytical methods and give uh, brilliant conclusions logical conclu conclusions, and I think that his study conforms with the requirements for the awarding of the scientific degrees. Georgi Petrovich, thank you very much. Dear colleagues, and now, this next point of our agenda, uh, discussion by members of the Council of the issues of awarding a scientific degree, a five-minute break, please. Turn on the sound during the broadcast of the meeting. Guests and colleagues who are not members of the Dissertational Council, I ask uh, to leave the hall. I will invite you when our consultation meeting is over.
Dear colleagues, we continue the meeting. I ask you to switch on the sound of the meeting's broadcast to make sure that it is working. The conclusive meaning, minutes of the Dissertation Council's meeting are coming. I raise the question of awarding an academic degree to an open roll call. I remind you that the decision of the Dissertation Council on the issue of the awarding the degree is considered positive if more than half of it voted for, but not less than three members of the Dissertational Council who participated in the meeting in accordance with paragraph 23 of the procedure for awarding academic degree. Mr. Miletsky, I am for. Stripkov, Alexander Ivanovich, I am for. Uh, member, board member Bolshikov, Andrei Valerich, for. Member of the board Nasimova. I am for, and board, uh, the chairman of the board, I am for the awarding of the degree to Anisimov Dmitry Igorich. Distinguished colleagues and guests, I declare that out of five members of the council participated in the meeting of the dissertation council, five voted for, voted there is no who were against, and no abstained people. Decision on awarding the academic degree of the candidate of political sciences on specialization 230006 conflictology is accepted. And the final words of the candidate, Dmitry Igorovich, please take the floor. Dear board members, I want to thank you for these detailed reviews. It's very difficult for me to speak now. I want to express my gratitude to St. Petersburg State University. Uh, I studied here for eight years. I remember the year of 2008, the square of Sakharov when Valentina Matienka uh, performed in front of us. And it was my first acquaintance with the university. And uh, I remember the first lecture by Mr. Stripkov. <coughs> and he said uh, one important thing that you would change in the near future. And you will be appreciated not by the fact how rich your parents are. You will be judged uh, by your knowledge. And I would like to express my gratitude to the Department of Conflictology, and I want to thank the Department of Ethics, which I finished uh, uh, my postgraduate studies. I would like to thank my scientific supervisor, the honored professor of St. Petersburg State University, Artemov Georgi Petrovich. Without his support, it would be impossible for me to implement my ideas. Uh, to uh, write this thesis, to conduct this study without his support, without his advice. Georgi Petrovich, thank you very much. And I want to thank my parents. And it would be impossible without them. And distinguished members of the board, thank you very much. Dmitry Igorovich, thank you very much. Dear colleagues, Our agenda was followed. Are there any remarks on the procedure of our meeting? Thank you very much. Let me thank every board member for the participation. Uh, thank you very much for the organizers of this uh, dissertational council. Uh, if there are no questions, thank you very much.